Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that spot bot. I don't get up early if I don't have to, so today we're going to touch base on permits. That's right. Permits and permits. Hello, can I get an Alberta permit? Personally, here in Alberta, we use uh, two different systems. Uh, we got road data, and then we got Travis Webb. They're both uh, pretty good. Both of them have uh, online access that you can do uh, either by mobile, uh, your smartphone, or if you have a laptop with an air card and stuff, which I would say that's probably the easiest. And uh, they also have like a 1-800 number you can phone in and apply. And then they will send you a copy of your permit to your email. You've got mail. So everybody's probably seen them. If you're a truck driver and you're driving around from province to province. Every time you leave or enter the province, you can see the signs. Welcome to Alberta. Welcome to Saskatchewan, BC and all that. And then always followed is a seatbelt. Not a lot of distracted driving. And then boom. Trucks. Needing permits 24 hours a day. There's a 1-800 number. The sign, we've all seen them. I ignore them, obviously, but of course, both of these websites, you got to sign up and make an account. I do believe it's free. I didn't really look into it because I'm not signing up for an account because I'm not getting any permits. So, uh, both, uh, I found the Alberta one, which is the Travis Webb, is, doesn't give you a whole lot of information. Like, I was trying to find out, you know, trying to find schematics, PDFs, and they, they ain't giving it up. <laughs> Phone. And then, uh, Road data has got a ton of information, easy to find if you want to know about road bounds, weight restrictions on bridges, uh, restrictions even a uh, part of uh, if counties are restricting uh, due to weather, road construction, and all that stuff. Road data actually was really good for that. Human. Work! Oh, now I completely lost track of where I was in the... <sighs> it's getting brighter out. All my face color is going to be different across all the videos because I keep adding more stuff. Uh, got to go to work tomorrow. Out to Edson. Sounds like we got a lot of stuff going on. So that's good. Anyways, road data. Road data's got all the information you need to know about bridges, weights, restrictions, bands, time of the month bands, periods that we're in because we have periods just like women for weights. And uh, sometimes they're grumpy, sometimes they're going okay. So it's a lot of good information. If you need to know uh, weights for your, your steers, all sizes, same with your tires, spreads on axles, allowances. I personally only spent a small period of time where I helped a friend had two trucks and uh, I would drive for him and I had to call in and get permits a few times and to the point where I'm like it takes too much time because I'm hauling too much different things and I didn't know exactly what everything was like if you're into it a year or two and you're kind of doing the same thing over and over or you keep records which I do but my trailers were always changing the load was always different so it was more of a pain in the ass for sure so the key elements you need when you're phoning in for a permit is you need you got to have your exact measurements 
and I'll, I'll throw in a PDF here so you can see uh, sometimes it's you know we need measurements depending on where you're going and what you're doing you need bumper to the kingpin kingpin to center axle trailer center axle trailer to overhang and then just overhang overall length it's uh it's quite tedious because well you got to have a long tape measure that's key trying to tackle this with a 25 foot tape measure is a huge pain in the ass so uh, definitely one of the things I bought because we use the Hall shacks into Saskatchewan all the time and that required to have a lot of measurements now once you're hauling a 65 a 55 or a 40 foot shack then obviously using the same truck same trailer and you have dimensions on shack already um, it's pretty much always going to be the same so it's just a matter of like our dispatch at road train had a lot of measurements written down and they just kind of went off that they would phone and I wouldn't have to do anything unless of a I got a new truck which I did and uh, we got a bunch of new trailers so again you had to do a lot of measuring and fiddling around and sometimes it could take you a good uh, half hour to get all this stuff down so you would need to have height, width, overall length, and then a couple different dimensions of bumper to kingpin, kingpin trailer, um, a suggested route. You gotta know where you're, where you're coming exactly from. You almost need, a, I think you need an LSD from point A to point B. Your selected route, and now if you don't know your route, or you don't know the roads, because then you, if you have bands, restrictions, bridges, and a lot of things will uh, come into play to get that approved fast so knowing what uh, roads to pick definitely plays a big part in getting a permit quickly where as an employee I just uh, I need I need a permit wait I need a prop I'll be like oh I'm overweight I'll be like yeah I need a permit stat and uh, just like that, the office would make it happen, and I didn't have to do any of the phone calls or any of the hard work. They would just kind of ask me, which way are you going to go? Or the majority of the time, the dispatch would know exactly which way you were going to go. So it wasn't that bad. But owner-operator definitely is time-consuming. Um, my buddy that I trucked for at Hudson all the time, like he would, he would have to spend time on the side of the highway because he'd have to get a permit for himself and then I needed like obviously crossing over permit or uh, provinces if you're not IFTA or prorate so you can just kind of skedaddle and do whatever you want we got permits every time we would leave Alberta and go into another province so super time consuming I would sit at the border for <laughs> like hours well not hours but like an hour sometimes depending on how busy, busy the permit office is too so for me to sit still for an hour, I'd be like, 1-800, no wait, is how I like to roll. I like to just get up, get going, and be on my merry way. So anytime I got downtime where I got to wait was always frustrating because I knew you're eating time out of my logbook, which back then it was paper logs. And uh, for the most part, it's not too bad. Once you get knowing what you're doing and... Uh, what exactly you need every time you call and like I said before if you're hauling the same thing constantly or the same amount of bunch of things like if you're hauling excavators and loaders and they're always you got these four different sizes you know your weight you can like almost call and get that permit lined up before you even go to get the load so that that saves a huge amount of time so it's always frustrating when you got it, something new and you don't know. But yeah. So, that's that on permits. Hopefully that helps somebody out. I had a few people asking about uh, permits and stuff. Not that I'm a pro at permits or anything. I know how to get them and I hate getting them. I know that. And that's it. Hopefully that helps somebody out. Thanks for watching. Any, any questions, hit it down in the comment section down below. Leave a thumbs up. Or even, even a thumbs down. Even thumbs down helps too.
the more traction, the merrier. So, try to make something out of this and put it together. Thanks for watching. <laughs> DJ, you ruined my shot. Hey, 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 why are you doing that? What? Just... You want to watch? Yeah. <laughs>